All right, so this video is for that person who's trying to take that next step. How do you get into the higher end bathrooms and how do you charge more per square foot? Well, this is it. Curbless showers, large format tile on the shower floor. That's how you level up your work. I'm going to show you how actually simple and straightforward it is to do that. You just gotta follow a couple simple rules and that's it. So let's get into the video. All right, so in part one, we were focusing on the floor and everything you needed to know on how to get your floor perfectly level, but then your first row kind of pitched into our curbless shower. So if you missed that part, make sure that you press this video and then come back and see how it ends. All right, so in part one, I explained why to me, it was very important to center this tile. Essentially, if I just went full piece, full piece, full piece, I would have been like this. And to me, this is just ugly. I want my shower floor to look balanced. So I'm actually going to have a full piece in the middle, like so, followed by two smaller pieces to actually make it look nice and centered. So what we have to do here is bring our grout line in here and make sure that our tile is actually lined up perfectly with it. You know, when you're doing shower prep, yeah, there's rules, because like you don't want that thing to leak. But in terms of like installation of tile, each tile installer is its own quote unquote artist, some people suck and some people don't in terms of what makes it look right. There is no start in the middle, go out. No, it's like what makes most sense or what to you will look the best. Check with the homeowners, we checked, they agreed and now we're going to do it this way. All right, so we're going to center this on the drain, make our marks to the right, to the left and now I need to get this measurement here. All right, so here's what where you're looking for. It's for it to kind of be nice and snug like this. Don't worry about how tight it is because once we put our grout lines here, this will get separated just a little bit. So this right here is exactly what we're looking for. Now we're gonna go do the second part, this side. It's exactly the same process. All right, so now that we have both of our pieces here, all we have to do is cut in this one, this one, this one, this one. So I'm gonna go pre-cut those, dry fit them, and then I'm going to show you how to do the relief cuts and that's where the magic happens. All right, so we got our dry fit cut out. We, we're really nice and tight around the drain right here. So now here's the magic happens. Here's how you make large format tile fit into a funnel. So what you do is from this corner right here, you wanna draw a line from here to this corner. From this corner right here, you wanna draw a line there, and then the same here, and then the same here. From here, we have to go into this corner. What I'm going to do to make it easier, I'm going to take this out, place it right here with my spacers, because I know the spacers, if I have the spacers there, it's perfect. I'm gonna take that out, put the spacers in, and then I'll be able to make those lines really easily. Watch it. All right, so here's our floor. Uh, we already got our uh, corners, you know, kind of drawn out. Now we're just gonna go outside, use our bridge saw and cut it. Having a bridge saw is almost like having a cheat code because it's so easy to make these cuts. And then I'll show you an extremely, extremely important step to what to do with the edge itself because you don't want people to feel a cut edge inside of the shower when they're standing on it. So I'll show you how to, what to do with that as well. All right, so check this out. We have all our pieces pre-cut and they just look so beautiful over there. But before we assemble them, what we have to do is I actually wanna get my leveling clips in here and here. 
and then two in here. This way there's absolutely no lippage. So the best way to do that, in my opinion, is you grab a multi-tool and you just make a little bit of room. So you want to basically get out that thin set and just get right under the tile itself and kind of get some of that thin set out. So watch this. So we have our cut marks right here, our relief cuts. And if you touch it, you can, you know, it's cut. You can feel it. So what you want to do is you want to grab one of these diamond sponges and then just go down and just like so. And I'll have a link for all of these things down below for my saw and all this stuff. But that right away just makes it feel nice and smooth and clean. This way when you're standing on it with bare feet, not bare feet, like a bare feet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man, all right, so when you're standing on it with your bare feet, then you don't feel the cut mark. So I'm just gonna go through and kinda clean up all of these cuts. It's super simple, it's literally just this. All right, so now we kinda prepped everything there. We have everything prepped in here, and now I'm just going to grab our three quarter inch U-notch trowel and start setting it. And I'm gonna time lapse this portion, hopefully you guys enjoy it, and uh, I'll show you what the level looks like at the end. All right, so the floor is in. I'm super excited. I think it looks awesome. As much as you'd love to keep the grout lines clean, there's just so much thin set under there. You're squeezing it in such weird spots. Tomorrow is gonna to be very easy for us to clean that up. So here's what you're checking. You're gonna grab your uh, level and you just wanna make sure that you pitch towards the drain. On those sides, we're there, here, and then here as well. And then we should be pretty close to level on these sides like we are, that's fine, we can work with that. So tomorrow, actually, when I'm removing these, you have to be super, super careful when you're kicking out these uh, clips. Like this one right here, you see how it's attached to those four skinny little corners? I'm probably just gonna get my box cutter and cut that out. I, I'd be terrified to kick it. Uh, these ones in the middle, that's fine, but the ones on these corners, I'm just going to cut them out by hand because uh, your tile could probably chip. So what you're looking for here, to see if it's a good install, you wanna make sure that the drain itself is just under the tile itself, like we have right here. Um, that's a good install for us. Make sure it's nice and square before it dries. And then tomorrow we're gonna to finish this up and then finish that up. So make sure that if you enjoyed this, uh, that you are actually going to subscribe, hit the notification bell, because I'm gonna show you next on how to tile this entire shower here. Uh, large format tile, 24 by 48, come on. It's beautiful.